Hi guys, I am Dr. Nanda Balaji. Today we discuss about the crystal physics and the techniques of single growth crystals. The crystals are defined as a three different types, solid, liquid and gas. Today we have discussed about the liquid crystals in techniques of melt growth technique. Now we discuss about the Karlowski technique. So the Karlowski technique we have known that the Bridgman technique is one of the oldest technique used to growing crystals similar to Karlowski technique that is employs the Bridgman technique also melt growth. In Bridgman technique the crucible containing the molten material is translated along the axis of the temperature gradient in a furnace. So the st structure is given this. In this structure we know that this is the drum and lid we know and upper winding places and melt crystals and crystal grown place and temperature uh, higher temperature places and lower temperature places upper winding places and lower winding places in this technique we have to get some single crystal structures the principle of the bridgman technique is the directional solidification by translating a melt from the hot zone to the cold zone of the furnace at first the polycrystalline materials in the crucible needs to be melted completely in the hot zone and be brought into content with a seed at the bottom of the crucible the seed is a piece of a single crystal and ensures a single crystal growth along a certain crystallographic orientation part of the seed will be remelted after the contact with the melt this provides a fresh interface for the crystal growth the crucible is then translated slowly into the cooler session of the furnace the temperature at the bottom of the crucible falls below the solidification temperature and the crystal growth is initiated by the seed at the melt seed interface after the whole crucible is translated through the cold zone the entire melt converts to a solid single crystalline structure the bridgman technique can be implemented in either a vertical or horizontal system configurations the concept of these two configuration is similar the vertical bridgman technique enables the growth of crystal in circular shape unlike the d-shaped grown by horizontal bridgman technique the crystal grown horizontally exhibits high crystalline quality since the crystal experiences lower stress due to the free surface on the top of the melt and is free to extend during the entire growth process instead of the moving the crucible the furnace can be translated from the seed end while crucible if kept stationary a further modification is the so called gradient freezing technique with which neither the crucible nor the furnace needs to be translated instead a translation of a temperature gradient is implemented by using a multiple zone furnace where in the power of a each zone this system can maintain the same temperature gradient at the liquid solid interface which changes in turn its location with time during the growth analog to the bridgman technique the gradient freezing time technique can also be realized in vertical and horizontal configurations advantages of this technique relatively cheaper when compared to other pulling technique simple technology 
melt composition can be controlled during the growth the thermal gradients can easily minimized with crystal with no need of thank you guys